Okay, as you all know that Paris is a very crowded place. So, and their houses are all like that. You know, mostly in uh, uh, this kind. So you're thinking how they move their furnitures, right? So right there, this is how they do it. How they move the furniture up to their houses. Amazing, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm here you? to pick up my bike rental, yes, which is the N Max One Two Five. Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up the bikes first and do all the procedures, and I get back to you later. The NMAX was not available at the time of my pickup, so they issued me a PCX125 instead, which is also in the same category. The rental of this bike is €35 Euros per day with limited mileage and includes a chain and a disc lock for security purposes. They have optional add-on items according to your needs. I added the MAX insurance cover, which has a €650 Euro access. This PCX is very new, with only 2,792 kilometers on the autometer. So according to them, I only have 225 kilometers mileage. I'm not gonna go anywhere far, just probably in the city. And of course, outlet store. Behind me is Gardelion, the main train station. So it's a very short distance to walk and you can pick up the bike here, which is just near the train station. Very convenient. There's also bus lane here. So apparently bus lane is 24 seven no go. You cannot ride or drive in a bus lane 24-7. Okay, for parking, motorcycle parking is free uh, in the whole of Paris according to them. As long as you find a spot. So basically, follow the locals where they park. Of course, do not follow them if, you, if, you, if they park on the pavement because that is in a way illegal. The temperature right now here is about 30 degrees. It is actually very similar to our country but it is dry here, unlike humid. So even though I'm wearing the riding jacket or you know, it doesn't feel warm and sweaty because it's dry. So still okay. To be honest, right, actually, I'm a little, little bit worried about the roads here. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll get used to it, uh, but we'll try. Guess where am I? I'll show you. So as you can see, it's really really crowded. So just be careful with the pickpockets here. So they are they are having renovations here. So yep. So come. If you're gonna come alone and take pictures, it's actually really hard. And you know what time is it now? It is 8 p.m. Summer in Paris is actually day long night shot. So it's 8 p.m. now and it's still so bright. So you know what? I'm hungry because it's 8 p.m. Let's go find some food. Hmm? El Fresco dining here is just amazing. Although it's summer right now, but it's actually now it's about 28 degrees. Yeah, so it's very comfortable because it's dry, so you're not sticky at all. So let's start. It's quite a big portion. Hmm. You can eat and you see your bike. There. Now I've locked the bike with a rear lock and a front disc lock. The hotel that I'm at now is southeast of Paris city centre. So, I mean based on the surrounding I've observed, there are families here. So I think it's pretty safe, but safety. You never know what's going to happen. That's the end of day one. It's 10pm. So I have a long day. So I'm going to rest early today and, uh, and we'll go shopping tomorrow. Okay, so before I go on, I would like to thank our main sponsor, Carousel, which is also our exclusive partner and Motorworld for providing this Axis helmet and Ice Tai Chi air track jacket for this trip. Thank you very much. Right now, I'm going to this La Valle village, which is about 32 kilometers from where I stay. Uh, I'll be heading through the highway to this 
outlet shopping center. Yes, so I have no idea whether I can fit my barang barang into this PCX, but we'll see. Pretty amazing, right? You can actually lock your helmet here. Hmm, not bad. So apparently there's a queue to go in. So now it's 12, 14 p.m. And there's a lot, there's a long queue. Amazing long queue. Okay, after waiting about 15 minutes, I managed to enter. So, still okay. Did you know that there is a 12% VAT tax return on your purchase as a tourist? The shops will help you prepare the paperwork and you can do your tax return at the airport. I recommend a tax return via credit card as there are many self-help machines at the airport to scan the barcodes on your tax return documents. Shit, two down. <laughs> if I'm going to continue to go into this shop, I think I'm going to be broke before I go out. No shit. <laughs> oh my god, inside is crazily packed. Today is a Sunday, so it's going to make it worse. So even right now at 4 p.m. there is still a lot of people queuing outside so it's very hot here I feel dehydrated don't forget if you were to come here to shop remember to bring your passport so that you can do your VAT tax returns okay okay I put things in my top box don't judge okay so yep all these things inside before I moved off let me share with you this jacket that I'm wearing is an RS Tai Chi air track jacket. It has a pocket which is uh, you can zip. Okay. And it has a hoodie here. Yeah. So just now based on the road highway, right? You may see the material is actually very mesh and very cooling. So I was riding in the morning, right? I actually still feel cold. So this is definitely a summer jacket and not a winter jacket. The helmet that I'm wearing is called Axis. It is an established Spanish brand that just brought in by Motower. It is ECE and DOT certified. But of course, they will be sending it for PSB inspection. It will be in their store soon, so go and check it out. But uh, okay, so my opinion about this helmet, uh, it feels quite light. And it's actually very airy, quite a perfect uh, helmet to ride in the city. But of course, when you hit the highway and there's no windshield, it's going to get uh, quite noisy. And it yeah, has sunshade also, look. When I was on the highway, right, when I was lane splitting, you can see that the cars that actually does, uh, you know, open up slightly to create space for you. So that was awesome. Uh, I have a ticket to climb up the Eiffel Tower at 8.30. So now it's 7.20. So I'm going to try to head over and find a different location to park the bike and see if I can have a better view with lesser people. Feels like you are under a very big transformer. <laughs> Shit, should I pay a bit more to take the elevator? But then again, it's the experience, right? So, it. <laughs> This is my first time at Eiffel Tower and I think climbing is a good experience. As you can see, there's nobody behind me. So I think climbing is not for the most people. So it's quite a good experience if you want. Very chuan. I take a break first.
Oh yes, I made it. But this looks like the first floor. Oh yeah, here the ground starts from zero. I'm supposed to go to the second floor, so this is the first floor. Push it! I regret not bringing water up. It's too thirsty. If you come at a different time of the day, you see different things. So right now behind me is their CBD area. Now it's about 9 p.m. As in the scene is back lit. So, so if you come in the morning, the sun is going to be on the other side, and then you have a clear view of the CBD area. It is super crowded. If you come up to the second floor without purchasing the ticket to the top, there's no way you can purchase any ticket from the second floor. So you have to buy the ticket from the first floor, then you can take the lift up from here to the top. I think it's time for me to head down and we'll call it off for the day. Yeah, because it's really 9.30 by the time I eat my dinner, it's going to be like, you know what? And I still need to go and Google where to eat. Okay, but the interesting thing is, tomorrow I will give myself a little challenge. And we'll see how. One of the food that you should taste here in Paris but I'm sure not every restaurant has very nice escargot so I want to try what I want to try how this escargot tastes like looks kind of plain so let's try first mouth hmm, not too bad Today is my second last day in Paris. As you all know that Paris is really big. So there's a lot of places of interest. Eiffel Tower, I spent like four hours. In the outlet shopping, I spent four hours. So generally on average, you need to spend about four hours on one places of interest. So that brings much to probably you can only visit two a day. What I'm going to do today is going to set a little bit of challenge. I'm going to try to hit as many places of interest as I can. It's almost like a punch card system. You know, go there and take a picture and then I'll move on to the next one. Let's see how many places of interest I can hit today. This Art de Triomphe is the most renowned art in the world. Engraved on the surfaces are some of the French historic victories, battles and great military leaders. So the queue behind me is pretty long. You need to have an entrance ticket. If I turn 180 degrees around, right straight behind me would be the Palace de Concorde. thing I like about riding in Paris, especially a scooter, is because there's plenty of parking and as long as you park within these lots, then you are pretty safe. This is the very first Chanel shop ever. So if you are here in Paris, this is one of the place. If you would bring your wife or your girlfriend to buy Chanel, don't forget to come to this place if you want to buy some luxury products it's 27 degrees right now but it feels like 33 just that it is dry so still not sweaty but the sun intensity is strong man
So along this whole stretch of road, there's actually cafes on the left and right side. So there's a lot of shelter also. So if you're feeling hot, just head on over and a drink or what. The Tuileries Garden is a public garden created by the late Queen of France from 1547 to 1559 as the Garden of the Tuileries Palace in 1564. It was eventually opened to the public in 1667 and became a public park after the French Revolution. Arc de Triomphe du Carousel is an example of neoclassical architecture in the Corinthian order. It was built between 1806 and 1808 to commemorate Napoleon's military victories in the wars of the Third and Fourth Coalitions. So if you walk all the way straight down, you will reach the famous Louvre Museum. <laughs> the Louvre, the world's most visited museum. With its abundant art collection including some of the world's most celebrated artworks such as Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and Michelangelo's Dying Slave. According to the movie Da Vinci Code, apparently Mother Mary lies below here. But I'm dating Mona Lisa, okay? <laughs> The escargot that is being served here is being the shell, so it makes eating easier. And the bread is a lot. This duck confit is not okay because it's supposed to be juicy, but the more I eat, the drier it gets. And the skin is fried beyond edible. It's too hard. Every restaurant has its down days, and they are really busy today. So probably it's just one of the thing. But if you look at their Google reviews, right, they actually their reviews are quite good. And that is also why I come to this restaurant. At least uh, the waiter, he responded to my comment. He apologized for the way the dark coffee was prepared. He was trying to compensate me with coffee and dessert. But you know, I'm not a dessert person. I think the waiter responded quite well. But if you guys come over next time to try, just let us know whether the, uh, the food is still good or just like me. There's a surprise thing here. It's actually another viewpoint. Here you go. I'm going in. This place has no queue and it's free. So let's go and have a look and see what is this. Everybody is queuing up. Don't know what's so special about this ice cream. So it's a mix of uh, it's a La Lebanese ice cream. So let's try. It's very milky and very thick. I don't think I can finish. I love you. It's written 311 times in 250 languages on this wall of love. Another down. Next one. Notre Dame Cathedral. And I realized there's a lot of rare classic bikes here in Paris. I saw MV. They get to keep their bikes forever, not like us. Why ah? Uh? Why can't we keep our bikes ah? Uh? The Notre Dame Cathedral is a Gothic cathedral with inspiring architectural details, stunning sculptures, and Gothic carvings. Built in 1163. On 15 April 2019, a fire broke out beneath the roof of the Notre Dame Cathedral. By the time the structure fire was extinguished, the building's spire had collapsed. Most of its roof had been destroyed, and its upper walls were severely damaged. Public toilets are almost can be found everywhere, but mainly more on the back street. Uh, they are quite clean and it's free. 
This is like one of the most poetic places in Paris. Shakespeare and Company is an iconic English language bookstore opened in 1951. Now, there is even a cafe for you to relax beside the bookstore. The bridge behind me is Pont Neuf, the oldest standing bridge along the Seine River. So it has a very old history. So this bridge, right, is actually only 850 meters from the Notre Dame Cathedral. So it's not that far. I parked my motorcycle near the Notre Dame Cathedral and I walked over here. All in all, today, I started my day at 10 a.m. Now it's about 8 p.m. I've ridden about 33 kilometers only. It's not that far. Of course, I follow Google Maps, so it is very, very easy. Parking of motorcycle is very easy, easily available. You just need to find along the streets, but make sure you park in the designated lot. Tomorrow is my last day in Paris. I'll be returning the PCX uh, in the afternoon. So I only have half a day in the morning uh, till 3 p.m. That's it for the end of today. I better head back soon because now my handphone only left about 10% battery. The petrol here is about 2 euros. So for 98, so it's still cheaper than Singapore. I don't know why my credit card just didn't work. So luckily, there is, this, there is this French lady, right? It's like one duck, one chicken like that. You know, she doesn't speak English, I don't speak French, so we use Google Translate. So she's kind enough to help me use her credit card to pay, and I uh, pay her back in cash. I travel 180 kilometers already, so I pump about 4.8 liters of uh, petrol. So on average, this PCX is giving me about 37.5 click per liter. Not too bad. In Paris, all the petrol stations are 24-7. Uh, only the bigger ones have attendance and you can pay by cash through the counter But the smaller ones only accepts credit card through the pump station Make sure your credit card works because mine didn't work It is actually very convenient that you use your credit card, you know, you don't have to wait Just insert the card, pump and off you go Now I'm going to a very scary place in Paris that is full of skeletons underground The catacombs of Paris are an enormous collection of bones under the city the overpopulated cemeteries in the 18th century has caused more than 6 million people to move over to this tremendous grave. Imagine this whole underground network of caves and tunnels all lined up with skulls and bones. You cannot buy the ticket here. You have to pre-purchase pre your ticket online only. They do not sell tickets here. Yesterday, I was trying to buy the tickets online. It is sold out for the next four days. So if you want to come, plan your dates and uh, buy them online. No point queue here. The queue is to, to enter only. Creation of the garden began in 1612 when the Queen of France from 1610 to 1617 constructed the Luxembourg Palace as her new residence. Now I'm heading to my last places of interest which is called the Pantheon which is about 750 meters away from where I am right now. So behind me is Jardin de Luxembourg. So these two places of interest is within the walking distance. The Pantheon was the first major monument in Paris, built between 1764 and 1790. In the time of the Third Republic and coinciding with Victor Hugo's funeral, the Pantheon's necropolis was used to bury famous French citizens. During the 19th century, and depending on the political regime, the Pantheon was either used as a religious or as a patriotic building. That's all for Fly and Ride Paris. Four days definitely not enough to explore all the, in the places of interest. You will definitely need uh, more days, probably about a week. Each individual places of interest, if you want to explore thoroughly, you should spend about four hours. So that gives you about eight hours and two places of interest per day. Riding in Paris is fairly easy. Not that difficult, although it's riding on the right side of the road. Road conditions and traffic uh, can be heavy during peak hours. But uh, the perks of riding a scooter here is you can slide and squeeze through the traffic. And some of the cars actually do give way to you. And there's plenty of parking at almost every street, at every corner of Paris. So that actually helps me in cutting down the number of steps that I'm going to walk. <laughs> Just watch out for cyclists because some of them are pretty reckless on bicycle. I have put the Google link to the places of interest that I go in the description below. So feel free to go and have a look. If you guys have any questions, put your question in the comments below and I'll try to answer to the best that I can. That's the end. I'm going to return the bike now. And I'm Winston and see you on the road. I 
I see every reason I got my feet on the cloud 